Hi, Anthony here. Just wanted to just do a quick video. I've had a few people ask about um, using oils with cooking and, you know, some suggestions and ideas and I guess just asking what we do. So I thought I'd just, just quickly just go through a couple oils and just a couple ways we use them, um, different, different sort of methods we use and stuff like that. So the first thing I will say is black pepper. Black pepper is basically on its own. It's not really going to add a lot of favor but the main reason for adding black pepper when you use other essential oils is it enhances those flavors so that will be used across the board whether it's in raw chocolates or whether it's in cooking dishes or whether you're basting potatoes with oils it really doesn't matter just just a few drops of black pepper added in there is always going to be a good one so that's definitely a staple just to have and just use it in addition okay other things lemongrass lemongrass is amazing now we only really use it in stir fries but if we're doing a stir fry just just in the mix we'll use lemongrass we'll also add a bit of ginger so you put some lemongrass some ginger really classic sort of asian flavors but the lemongrass in particular is amazing in a stir fry now whether that's you know you're adding some honey and garlic and other stuff in there but lemongrass and ginger in a stir fry sensational uh ginger just is, is ginger so you know i will always use that in stir fries i would use that you can use it if you're making smoothies as well so if you're doing like a carrot and apple juice or something like that you can add a drop of ginger in that and then you've got apple carrot and ginger without having to carry fresh ginger all the time so that's just another one to use basically in place of where you would use fresh ginger so it's it's quite strong one drop to two drops in a stir fry is is usually going to be enough in a in a smoothie, I wouldn't put any more than one drop. Uh, what else we got? Oregano, oregano, in place of wherever you would use the herb, especially bolognese. If you've never used oregano oil in your spaghetti bolognese, it is mind-blowingly good. Super, super strong. So don't use too much. Just if you've got a big pot, imagine you're making a bolognese with 500 grams of mint and and a bunch of veggies one drop is all you will need two drops is pushing it three drops it'll be ruined so sort of stick to one drop and you'll find that's enough if you do want more you can always add it but you certainly can't take it out anywhere else where else i use oregano i'll use oregano if i'm doing some potatoes so i will normally just before i bake my potatoes have them chopped up put them in a in just a big mixing bowl just mix some olive oil and oregano. I'll always also add some thyme to that, and I will add basil, and I'll put just a drop of each of those into the olive into a cup of olive oil. Mix it around, get a mix, and then tip that over the potatoes and and just toss those around so they get coated, and then make your potatoes. You'll get some amazing flavors that way. Basil, basil is just another one. Bruschetta make it really really easy if you're doing bruschetta so all you need to do is just once again just in a separate cup separate cup if you use in a separate cup uh, mixed basil and your olive oil just gives that a mix then once you have done your your bread with your tomato just drizzle that over the top that's all you need and that's a really really quick way once again in place of wherever you would use any any of the fresh herbs or the dried herbs you can substitute basil in there as well we have lemon if if you like fish obviously it's quite classic to have lemon on fish so once again before you're cooking it mix it with a bit of oil then coat coat your fish fillets in that before you fry them if you're baking a whole fish drizzle it over the top of the fish and then do everything else you would normally do really easy way lemon obviously we do that in lots and lots of different things we'll put I'll put lemon and lime together. If um, if we're making a guacamole, just your avocados, just with lemon and lime, just a few drops of each in that. Mash that around, mix that around. You can add coriander as well, because obviously a lot of a lot of guacamole is going to have coriander in it. So a few drops of all that, mix it, and that's such a quick way of doing it without having to having to go and buy lemons and limes if you don't have them. And it's just it's just a really simple way. Where else do we use lemon? Use lemon, obviously, you can just use lemon in your water as well as a daily, just another way to consume it. 
Uh, lime, 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 lime. Lime's another one, actually. You can add lime to, to that bruschetta mix as well, which is really tasty. You can, um, what else can you put? Lime in smoothies. You just add lime into, your, into a glass of apple juice. You can also, where else do we use lime in the kitchen? Just, um, actually, lime is also another one that's really nice in a stir fry. What else we got here? Coriander, once again, coriander. Anywhere you would normally use coriander. So, whether it be in that stir fry, in that guacamole, uh, just coating vegetables. So, that's a great way. What else we got here? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'll use, well, in smoothies. So, if you're doing like a milk and banana type smoothie, you can add a drop of cinnamon to it. I also put cinnamon in when I'm making banana bread. So I'll use bananas, a bit of vanilla, paste and stuff like that. But I'll also add some cinnamon to it as well. Just adds a lovely, lovely flavour. Bananas and cinnamon are kind of perfect together really. I'll also put a couple drops of cinnam cinnamon if I'm making pancakes. So that's another one too. So I'll have some banana and cinnamon pancakes which are lovely. We also have peppermint. Probably more for your sweets so thinking if you're if you want sort of chalk mint stuff instead of instead of trying to use that awful sort of mint flavoring and stuff you can put a drop of peppermint in there whether that's in for raw chocolates it works really well um, if you want to be a bit cheeky and do like an after dinner mint hot chocolate a drop of peppermint in that with well also works what else is there I did also mean to grab wild orange, but wild orange is another one. Wild orange is amazing in salad dressing, so you just just get some balsamic, some olive oil, put them in a cup, mix it with a, a drop or two of wild orange, and you have an amazing salad dressing. We also use orange, the wild orange, in our in our date ball. So if you're going to make like a cashew and date ball, add a couple of drops of wild orange in there as well, and that just takes them to a whole different level. Well, that's a few there anyway. So that's a couple quick ideas. Obviously, there it's only limited by your imagination, and you know, wherever you would use those those herbs fresh in your kitchen or those citrus fruits, there's obviously lots of other ones you can use that I've even touched on. You've got marjoram, you've got cilantro. There's um, bergamot, grapefruit. All all those oils that come from a normal sort of food product as such which you would normally consume and cook with in the kitchen you can use the oils there and it just means that you've got them on hand they're shelf stable they're pure they're potent and they're fantastic so get some of the oils just use them experiment have a little bit of fun if you don't have oil, any oils and it does interest you and you want to jump on board just just make contact with us and we'll show you how you can get them at the wholesale prices which is the same as we do and then you can certainly come along to classes and find out all the other uses for them because being the oils they're not just for the kitchen they're amazing in the kitchen but there's so many different ways we can use them and we'd love to show you how have a fantastic day and i'll speak to you soon